The Janjwa, also spelt Janjua, Janwa, Janjwa, is a caste found among the Sikh, Hindu, and Muslim Rajputs communities of Pakistan and India. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. There are Muslim, Sikh, and Hindu Janjwas who reside principally in northwestern India. The main branches of the Janjwa are Damiol, Gaharwal. Kaka Raniel Topic <inaudible> Mughal period In the 16th century the Mughal king Humayun was usurped by the Afghan king Sher Shah Suri who constructed the Rodas fort in Punjab to check Humayun's entry in India and also to keep a check on the local tribes including Gakars and Janjwas Janjwa Raja Shabat Khan, the great grandson of Malik Darwish Khan Janjwa, allied with Maha Singh in many campaigns of the late 18th century. Upon his death, the Sikh chief Adar Singh Dari assassinated Khan's heir, Raja Ghulam Muhi Ud Din Khan. The Janjwa then rebelled, having realized that the intent was to replace the old aristocracies. The expansion of the Sikh Empire, spearheaded by Ranjit Singh, was met with a rebellion by the Janjwa Sultan of Watli, Sultan Fateh Muhammad Khan. A six month siege of Kusuk Fort in Watli followed, and this was ended when the inhabitants ran short of water. The Kala Khan branch of Rawalpindi Janjwa's fortunes were also eclipsed by the rise of the Sikh Empire. By the time the British Raj took an interest in conquering the Sikhs in 1848 49, they were joined by opportunistic tribes such as the Janjwa, Gakars, and Awans who had lost control of centuries old ancestral kingdoms and sought revenge. Tai Yong Tan says that. Besides being impressed with their track record, the British saw in them, with their traditional and historical enmity against the Sikhs, an effective counterpoise against the latter. The Janjwa rebellion against the Sikh Empire was not a war against the Sikh faith, but a political rebellion, as the Janjwa were initially keen allies to the Sukarashakya Misl, with some Janjwas actually converting to the Sikh faith. Martial roles During the 19th century, the British rulers of India acknowledged the martial potential of the Janjwa, designating them as a martial race. David Omissi says that they were held to be among the best Muslim soldiers, and were also the only really pure Rajputs in the plains of Punjab. There was a widespread belief that racial mixing produced degeneracy. The British preferred their martial races to be as socially exclusive as they were themselves. During this period, due to their high aristocratic status, Janjwa princes refused to serve in any regiment that was not commanded by either a Janjwa or another commander of equal social standing. This preference was honoured by the British when selecting regiments for them. 